Oh, I, I just returned from uh, Lebanon, Tennessee, uh, where I had the re uh, Renegade Woodcarver's Roundup, which is a seminar. And I just wanted to explain to uh, every uh, new carvers that what a, actually what a, goes on at the seminar, and uh, and uh, how they improve your your uh, the, the hasten your carving experience, you know, to uh, another level. And uh, so anyway, I want to show you some of these. Uh, this is a, like a rough out and, and this is how it works. You buy the rough out from the individual carver and uh, each one has its own style and, and, and they're all pretty cool. So. Uh, it's up to you to pick one that you want to carve, and uh, or, and buy a couple to take home to if uh, you know is the smart way to do it. And uh, they, the instructor will help you to bring out the carving here. This is a little a boat captain thing that uh, Chris Hammock had there, and I thought he was cool. He's got a little pipe in his mouth, and I'm going to show you uh, um, more close-ups. This is just a, you know, to let you know what's going on here. So I'm going to move the camera up here to my, uh, this is my camera jig here. <laughs> and uh, point it down and I'm going to show you each individual carving and uh, how, uh, you know, that I, the progress that I made that day. So because you only carve one day with each carver. So, uh, and we carve uh, at the Renegade, uh, we carve from 8 o'clock in the morning to uh, take a hour lunch break if you want to or you can stay there and keep carving and uh, then we car keep carving until 4 o'clock in the afternoon uh, where uh, everybody takes a uh, dinner break and some go to restaurants and some bring their own or whatever and uh, <clears throat> and then we come back and uh, Steve Brown uh, leaves the uh, carving area open until 8 o'clock in the evening. So it's like 8 o'clock in the morning until 8 o'clock in the evening. You could be carving if you want. And uh, and uh, it's a big, it's, you'd be amazed at how, how much it'll help you improve your, your details because these have that's what's left on these is the real detail to really finish it out and the rough part of it is gone so uh, okay let's um let me move the camera over here and i'll you know i'll show you a little bit more closer up all right this is how uh i'm going to just go ahead and squirt these down a little bit and show them to you and this is uh you can kind of see you know the shape the basic shape is there and it's very rough it's not uh, any detail whatsoever it just gives you a, a little line to go by and then uh, uh, let me squirt this with a little bit of water here so you uh, might be able to see it a little better and it's kind of a cool it's kind of a cool uh, little boat captain is what it is He's got a pipe in his mouth, and uh, it's one of those pipes that swoops down like that, like a sea captain should have it. And you can see the side view here is, um, he's in there. And, uh, you know, when you go to a seminar, your instructor will help you bring this out. So, and I, I just go right to uh, scraping off or cutting off these, um, the router mark. See, this is all done with a router. It's a high-speed uh, tool that um, they put they put it, uh, the original in a jig, and uh, <clears throat> the and they route out the uh, the shape around it. Like so, this is the original. They put it in a jig, and they uh, route out around it. So you have most of the basic instead of having this much uh, wood all the way up to remove. You don't. Uh, you just have uh, most of that is done 
So your feet are down here and your, you can see his arm there. And uh, <clears throat> same way this way, that little lump is his, uh, is his pipe. And his cheek and on his hat. This part here just gets cut off. It's part of the jig that, that holds, uh, that holds, because this goes in as a solid block, say two by two maybe or something like that. And uh, it has to go in a jig and that's the uh, mark where it goes into there. And that's the mark where it goes into there. And it's a, and they, they spin it around, the ladders are there and uh, they, that's, uh, that's Chris Hammock's rough out right there. And um, now I, this rough out was Chris, uh, I mean, uh, Mitchell Cartledge. And uh, he's, he's a guy, he's leaning on a post here. And uh, he's got a, he he's either has this uh, tall hat on or uh, that style of hat. You cut this half of that off because that's part of the jig, right? And uh, he also has the option of holding the hat cut that hat off and give him hair and uh, and uh, have the hat back here. This hat back here, which is, uh, let me see if I can squirt that out. You might be able to see it a little better. He can be holding the hat behind his, uh, you know, behind his leg there. And so that's how you get it in. And uh, let me squirt this one before I even start talking to so I opted to um, remove this top hat this time, and I'm going to, on this one, I'm going to carve, I brought this home, so I'm going to carve this with that top hat. And this one here, he helped me carve, and it, uh, you can see the profile there, and he's wearing, he's got, a, he's holding a hat here, like a, like he's just taking a break, he's been working, you know what I mean, and, uh, you can even make this, he's leaning on his post, but you could change that, and I, I might still change that. I still have that option, because this, this is not a complete carving uh, yet. Yeah, it's uh, it's just the best I could do in, uh, with his help in, uh, in uh, one day sitting. So, so I can make this a shovel or a rake or any kind of other tool, maybe, or, you know, anything you want. And... Uh, so that's Mitchell Cartlidge's and you can see the rough out. I had to carve out this center in between here and his legs are crossed there. So a little bit of care had to be taken back here to get it to line up to his, uh, his butt there. And uh, so Still quite a bit of carving on these rough outs and if you can get one done in a day you're darn lucky uh, because or you're darn good and, <laughs> and fast because uh, I can't seem to do it so but when I it's, it's pretty close to there and and I just need to go everything needs to just get a little bit skinnier most of the time because uh, because uh, it's not enough time to get them as skinny as they need to be so so that's uh, Mitchell Cartlidge's and I didn't get a I didn't get a another one for this but this was uh, Gary Phelan's rough out and I carved this with him and I admit it I, I messed up the eyes and I um, and I uh, so I I got what 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 he did was he carved one eye and he uh, gives it back to you and says, okay, that's the way the eye goes, and you carve the other one. So that's the way he usually does it. And um, and I, he carved one, and I carved one, and and it was just it just all chipped out in here. It's pretty bad. So I I just uh, took a gouge and gouged them back out again, and I'm going to make them as you can, if you can see how I got them drawn in there. I'm gonna make them that big. That here, now that I have it home with my uh, my, uh, my my big magnifier. I mean, let me let me uh, squirt this. Squirting this like this it always adds uh, makes them a little more visible. 
So you can see that the cowboy's there. He just needs his belt put in and uh, his bandana. And uh, so we got quite a bit of it done. And I missed, I think I kind of mangled these ears here. I'm going to need to get them fixed up too somehow. And, uh, and uh, like I say, I'm no expert at anything. I'm a... I'm taking lessons and uh, all, um, same as you guys, I'm, I'm taking lessons um, and, I'm, and uh, each time you improve a little bit, see how he made this, uh, I carved these hands in there in his pocket and uh, you know, I gave it to him and he said, yeah, well you can carve a little fingernail on the end of that thumb, you know, and that's, these little additions is what you know, make scary carvings, and uh, also some buttons on the shirt, and uh, you know, some, by the time I get this painted, it should finished and painted. It should be a pretty cool little cowboy, and uh, nice rough out. Had a lot of fun carving it. So, also, I carved with the Floyd Rat again, and he's so cool. It's unbelievable. Yeah, and this, I actually, I don't, I don't have a uh, another rough out for this either, because this was his last one that he had. And it's if you, it's hard. It might. I don't know if you can see it or not. Let me uh, maybe wet it down a little bit here for you. Actually, uh, this is, he's got a big fish that he's got on a, on, a, on a rope and he's walking down, you know, he's walking like this. So he's got his right foot up in the air. He's, he's walking up the dock, man, with his big fish. And, uh, you know, you, if you know me, you know I like to go fishing. So, and he's got a cool little face on him, too. He's uh, got the fuzzy beard and... Uh, and he's wearing uh, waders. He's got his waders on, and uh, he's going to be a cool dude when I get him done. I got I've got a lot more carving to do to get the shape of this fish and and everything there. So, so, uh, and uh, actually, hang on a minute. I'm going to pause you a minute, and I'll uh, then I'll get the photo that he gave me to go with it. Okay. I finally found it. It took me a while, but anyway, I'm hoping you can kind of get the picture here of this dude walking down. He's got this big fish hanging from him. He's holding a, a rope here. He's got it wrapped around the back of his fish. I still need to carve that stuff and shape this fish up. And so this is so as much as I could get done with his help at the, uh, you know, in one short session. But uh, let me. But if you buy the rough out, uh, yes, if you order it online or whatever, this is going to be the picture that you get. You know, he's he's got him painted and all, and it's uh, you can see he's a fisherman walking with that big fish, and th this is one of the better photos, really, that most uh, most time you get with a rough out. So. Looks like a big old catfish. He's got some like these little whispers coming down the side, and uh, and uh, you can make him any kind of fish you want. Really, you know, it's just this is his version, and I think it's way cool. So it's going to be tough. I still got a lot of work to do to even get it close to finished, uh, but I'm sure it'll. I'll post it somewhere. You know, probably on Facebook that uh, finished product. So anyway, that's Floyd Radigan, and then um, at the at the end of one night of uh, carving, uh, Dwayne Gosnell uh, had, gave a free tutorial. All I had to do is buy his uh, buy this rough out from him. It's a moose. This is going to be a plaque. That it moose, it's a moose bust. It's, it's kind of cool looking. 
and he saw, he has the rough outs for these if you wanted to buy them. And as a matter of fact, all these rough outs are available. Maybe not Chris Hamrick's because he is uh, he's he's not doesn't have his website again anymore. So anyway, but you know he carved in. He showed everybody the best he could in in that shorter period of time, which is which is really short. And the knees need to get whittled down for his for the for the antlers and um, dished out. They got to be dished out and. Uh, they become the antlers, and a hole needs to be drilled in there to uh, accommodate them. And you, this gets all whittled down short enough to uh, fit in a hole to glue it in there, and then it'll be a finished uh, moose. So anyway, that was that's another thing that happened there at the at the uh, Renegade Roundup, and also when Dwayne was there uh, selling all of his. Uh, his whole array of uh, of uh, rough outs, which is a lot of them. <laughs> it's a lot. So look him up at Dwayne Gosnell, and I mean Gosnell, excuse me, excuse me, and uh, buy some rough outs. And he's got some cool ones. And uh, let me see here. This last one here. Let me see this. Okay, I already did that one. <laughs> All right, this last one here. Rich Weatherby, and it's a mountain man, and he's can be either uh, wearing his friend's jacket and uh, leather jacket, and he can he can be uh, he can actually this is all when you get the rough out this is all um, filled in, and in between his legs too needs to be cut out and and you can pretty much see the arm on there and his staff or you can make this a rifle and uh, which I'm probably going to make this one a rifle since I made this one a staff and uh, he's uh, let me squirt it down a little bit and uh, this is one of the coolest uh, carvings and uh, he really helped me along and got on that face, I'll, I'll admit it. And uh, and uh, I carved this all out inside to make it the, uh, you know, he's standing there with his legs uh, open and leaning on that staff. And uh, I, this is like a rope or leather. I know it's hard to see there. It's all like leather wrapped around it and got this pouch here that he carries uh, his, his uh, I guess, ammo and uh, whatever. Uh, beef jerky's got a couple feathers coming out here. And this is, uh, that's, that's on the staff there. You know, and, and uh, I, I carve on it as much as I could in between. And you mostly, you're going to have to carve the, uh, um, the body part because when when uh, you get up to the instructor he kind of concentrates on the face which is uh, you know the one we all struggle with is the face getting the face looking good and a nice ear on it and uh, and uh, maybe hand shapes or whatever you think you need help with he will help you with it you know and uh, he will carve it for you if you want and uh, it's, this is going to be a cool mountain man, and and like I say, if you buy the um, this is the uh, this is the, the the photo of the moose, and uh, so that's that looks uh, that's pretty understandable there. It's a good clear photo, and so you have to dish out dish out these antlers and kind of give them a little shape. And uh, because they're car they're bands all cut out so that they are. So uh, anyway, I wanted to show you. I forgot to show you that when I did the moves. And uh, this is the mountain man, and uh, it's uh, you know is what you get as a go by when you when you order uh, 
this mountain man. So, so that's what you get. You get if you get the roof out, and you get a photograph. Same with all of them. You know, you get you get the, the rough out and the photograph from all all these guys. And uh, that's all. That's all I wanted to say. I just wanted to say that explain how seminars work because a lot of people don't know. They get there and they don't know. And I I was like that when I got there. And also the first time I went to. Uh, the first seminar I ever went to was this uh, um, way back uh, three years ago, and I never even knew they had seminars until then. I just was doing my corner carvings and stuff like that, and uh, this is probably going to be my next uh, video, is uh, carving this. This is a Peter Claire style. Um, corner carving and I'm gonna make that up. I'm gonna do that. I was gonna do just an eye tutorial to show you how to, to show how I carve eyes and uh, then I said well I can't really do an eye tutorial without carving a nose because I don't want to do I've seen other tutorials where they just carve an eye on a flat surface and that doesn't really show to me I didn't want to just do one like that so I want to do one on the corner with a nose and show that you can carve any face on the corner like this. And uh, you know, it doesn't have to be even a human, it could be an animal or something. So, so this is what a rough out is and this is, uh, most of them are like this. These bigger ones like this are about 30 bucks a piece and uh, the Smaller ones, skinnier, whatever. I'm not sure how they get priced. This was like 21 bucks for the rough out for this uh, cowboy. And uh, some of the... Uh, actually, Chris Hammock sold these uh, the, these small rough outs for two for $25. So, there's they all have different deals of how much uh, they charge for them. And, but they're basically the same. Anywhere from figure, you can figure anywhere from twenty to thirty-five or dollars, or if you want anything more. Some of the ones that have more, like they'll have uh, more stuff and that comes along with it, like you know maybe some maybe a big old barrel he's leaning on or something like that. And they might cost a little bit more, but that's the general area, twenty to thirty-five dollars. Or, or even less, somewhere, like I say, somewhere less. These were only worked out to be twelve fifty a piece, you know, so. So, that's cool. And, uh, recommend, highly recommend taking a seminar because you can buy the books and you can uh, try to learn from by reading, but if the man is right there, or a woman is right there, because there's some excellent women carvers, and that gives seminars, also give tutorials, and uh, so I'm not an expert at anything. I'm here taking classes, just like you. So, so uh, anyway, one of the hope you get to take a seminar anywhere. We have them at our our Conewago Carvers Club, available all the time. Is we have seminars there. Um, with our regular um, membership of uh, like Jim Feather does an excellent one, Bob Hershey does an excellent one, Jim Heiser, and 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 uh, Bruce Steak, and and uh, they're, you're going to learn a lot if you sit with any one of these guys. You're going to learn a lot. So good luck with your carving and uh, try to carve something. Try to carve on something every day, maybe 30 minutes if uh, if possible. And the uh, only excuse for not carving every day is if you're going fishing, then, then you're okay. Don't worry about it. Carve an carve, uh, hour the next day. <laughs> okay? Alrighty. That's it for this. Thanks for watching. And uh, subscribe and share if you will, because... I need subscribers.